today, friends. We go for the Epsilon case. Are you ready? What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the next episode of the Ride to Riches series. Today, friends, well, we did a couple things uh, between episodes. Uh, I was having a little bit of insomnia the other nights from my medicine that I was taking. So I said, you know what? Let's do what I said I was going to be doing. And I was working on getting the sniper skill up. So we did that and got a bunch of different loot to help us out. I'll put some pictures on the screen right now of the loot that we ended up getting out of some of the raids. We did die like twice. Um, it wasn't really any footage to really show because it was always at night. And... When I died, it was from somewhere very, very far away in Shoreline, so, yeah. But we did get some nice loot out of it, and we also were able to complete a few different quests with the stuff that we got. So, let's look at what we got. We got a lot of pretty good stuff that will make us a lot of money so we can continue moving forward with the SVD and getting closer to the Upsilon case, but we got to sell all the stuff. But before we sell things, uh, we need to go and turn a few things in. So, let's go talk to Jaeger here and say, Jaeger. Number four. Number four is finished. We can start number five, which I don't even remember. Eliminate scabs using a bolt action rifle between 21 and five on customs. Oh, you son of a gun. <laughs> Easy. We can definitely do that one, no problem. Shady business. We can also turn that one in. There you go, bud. Ambulance. I'm surprised I don't have a defibrillator yet. That's actually very surprising to me. Uh, CMS kits we can easily get. I think we can craft both those things. We'll take a look at that in just a second. Peacekeeper. We also got a bunch of stuff for spot part three. So we can turn those two. Turn that bleach in. Boom. Number three is finished. Number four. Ooh, okay. We have to get the generators. It's not too bad of one. I still got to get all the markings done. I got to get up to marking all these places. Getting very, very close to be able to get level three with them. I gotta do a few other tasks. Which ones are pretty easy to do? Um, not a lot of them. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, not, not a lot of them. The, the problem is, is the march room key. It's very expensive, but I don't think a lot of people actually have it. They don't normally see it open. I guess spot two or part four wouldn't be the worst one to do. Samples is gonna obviously take us a while. Yeah, it's gonna take a little while to do that. Okay. Anyway, we need to do a few little selling things. And then I got to build a new gun and all that fun stuff. A lot of different things to get done today. But I'm very happy we were able to complete all this stuff. I was so happy. Like, the last last run we got that we, that we got really good loot on just was a ton of uh, thermometers and the gauges. And just it was very, very good loot. Very, very happy with all this. I'm thinking, though, today... Since we need to go and get the kills, we're probably going to be heading over to customs. I think that's going to be our best bet to finish up the, the kills that we need. Beyond that, maybe, maybe we'll go over to Shoreline. I know, I know a few good spots now since I was running it a few times throughout the night. That um, different paths that people take. I may look at doing that as well. We'll take a look at it. Uh, I got all these diaries. I'm going to sell certain things to certain um traders like peacekeepers gonna get all this stuff here um water filters i guess sell those to the flea market oh i have a bunch of bolts and a bunch of other stuff too 1g phone i don't need so I'm, I'm probably not going for cap at the moment i mean there's some items in here that are definitely meant for kappa but i just don't think it's worth our time to worry about them just yet let's go trader therapist So all of these goodies to you. That was almost a mil million rubles right there. Holy cow. All right, let's sell the filters. Filters are going for 80,000 each. Let's go, let's put it all the way to 80. Oh, by the way, I'm very glad I did this though off screen, like off video because holy cow, it took forever to get this to, get to level three. I don't know if they up, upgrade up the amount of like rounds you gotta shoot or the amount of rounds you gotta reload but it took forever like i think i did eight raids at night on shoreline with the mosin reloading over and over of 60 rounds each time it took a very long time it was also expensive too i think i spent like 
200,000 or 300,000 around there in just the ammunition alone, which wasn't that expensive. It was using like T46M or something like that. So it wasn't even the best arm or best uh, ammo. Uh, okay. Oh, that's right. A bunch of other stuff. Put all that, put that in there. Take those two. Peacekey four. Ooh, the vector. Ideas. Grab all the water filter money. Um, okay, there's still some more stuff we can sell. I definitely want to get the selling part out of the way so we don't have to worry about it later. I don't need nails right now. I sold them. Actually, hold on. Before I go too far. Before I go too, too far. Also, I got to turn that fuel conditioner in. Ragman. Where is the quest? We still need one more, though. One more for that. Oh, we, oh, we can also turn in one more thing. What was it? Um, crap ore. I ran into a, a dead body on uh, shoreline. Somebody killed a random guy, so I took his tag. So now we have another bear tag. We only need two more. It's looking pretty darn good right now. Okay. I think that's enough for now. I guess we don't really need to sell everything. We also found some armor, too. Like, like the guy just... Whoever killed this guy, they basically just shot him and left him. They didn't even loot him or anything. Um, okay, let's buy one of those. Oh gosh, oh gosh. I'm blind, I'm blind, I'm blind. Oh, it's on here. Okay. I need to go... Trap four. Okay, let's get that. 88. I'll take the 88. And we're just going to do what we've been doing. Just a very easy, simple build. I do need to start identifying the rest of the parts stuff for this gun. Like, that are available for it. Because I'm finding that, um... I don't have everything that I need, and it's getting kind of bad. I need some more stuff. Um, let's toss on. Let's toss that on. Again, I'm not looking for the craziest build, just enough to, to kill people. And then we'll just put a random grip on there. That should work. I know some of the chats can be like, uh, that's not the best build you could build. And I'll probably be like, you're right. It probably isn't. Got that one. Boom. Completed. Take that. That cost us not even that much. That should be enough, right? Actually, I'm going to toss this rig on here. I need to get stuff from Therapist. One. And then I need ammo from you. I don't want to use the big ammo. Probably should, just to make sure I know it's going to go through. Let's go with 60 rounds. We'll buy 20 more of LPS. Oh, uh, there's all the ammo. It keeps hiding on me. There it is. Hiding ammo. Let's go boom. Boom and boom. PSM will keep there. LPS will stay there. Uh, Doc's case. I don't think I need you right now. We'll bring the key tool out. And then I also need to get my other keys. Where are my other keys at? Are in here? Oh, they totally are. I just need the factory key. That's all I need right now is just the factory key. We got that one. Okay. All right. I'm happy with that. Oh, you know what I'm going to buy? I'm going to buy a mask. Got to be a little incognito, you know? Get that going. And also, before I forget, because I've been trying to buy this as often as possible, let's buy all of this. Boom. More ammo. Ah, we need to get as much ammo as possible built up so that when we go into the later raids, we'll have really good ammo. Granted, this is Tracer, but still, it's better than most of the other ammo you can get for this gun. Sweet that sold. Let's take a look at the hideout real quick. I need to see if I can make um, some of the stuff for the medical center or if I need to get upgraded. It's level two, I think. Oh, I can make it all of it. Okay. Um, 
let's quickly buy all the supplies. Then we need three wires. Oh, they did not purchase all of them. I swear I had magnets though. Maybe at some point I just sold them on accident. Forks and cage. Okay. Turn the power on. Get this bad boy started. Cool. That's one defibrillator being crafted. Generator. We got more than enough fuel for now. Okay. We got the gun. We got the armor. I gotta grab my painkillers. Vaseline. Vaseline's there. Got my factory key. I'm just I'm just going for kills and some loot. That should be good. Enough. I wish I could get the suppressor. I still remember what it's called at the moment. I'll, I'll be able to get it soon, though. Three mags. All right. Let's head over to customs. Let's see how many kills we can get. Is there any other tasks that we have to do while we're at customs, though? Oh, well. Uh, maybe. I feel like I don't want to pair these two tasks together. Yeah, I really want to make those two together. No, we're just going to do it at daytime. Just get a couple kills and find some loot. And maybe we can find some field conditioner. Let's do this. Are you ready? All right, we're in. We're right next to the hole in the wall. You may be able to catch up the guy that's going to be going over to the three-story. Let's go see if we can catch him. Go a little more to the left. Some of that lag involved, you know. Because we all love it. Yeah, I kind of want to push over all the way through and see if I can catch people crossing over. Wouldn't be the worst idea. Definitely possible. I think it also depends what people are doing. Let's see if he crossed over and it doesn't look like it. We're just going to kind of chill for a minute. See if anyone comes this way. I see one right now. I got him. Back it up, need to reload. No, 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 not that one. Dropped a few mags there, I won't lie. Just a few of them. When I say a few of them, I mean all of them.
stupid snipers. Yeah. Ow. One. Ooh, oh, okay. Let's do that. Let's take his bag instead. Okay, screw the sniper. I hate how freaking easy he can see me through everything. Oh, screw it off. Shit. Yes. Can you loot the rest of my kills? time here. Body, I want the body. Give me the body. If it's a if it's a bear, I need to kill it. Yeah. Screw it. I'm just pissed right now because it's I hate the scav so much, man. Like, on that angle, I can't even see him. But yeah, he's got a perfect shot on me. My fault, though, for not having a splint. I'm just losing out on so much gear because I can't go back there.
Alright, now I'm not unloaded anymore. You gotta do one more thing too. Grab it. Finish what I was doing now. This guy's in PS rounds. Yeah. Kill the number one. Just kind of not hidden at all. That moment we don't remember he killed everyone. I'm pretty sure I killed four, didn't I not? Kill him, kill the other guy. I would check yeah. everything in you. I don't know, I'll probably lose in it. That's right. That guy was a bear, and I needed that tag because that was that was a bear team. So that helps us out a lot, actually. Hopefully the campfire is odd, though. I'm not seeing a campfire rip go across. Yep, we're going across. I don't want to run a lot because of the uh, the broken leg issue. It's kind of a problem, you know. I was happy with that fight though. We, we stay composed. We got all the kills that we needed. I was happy with it. We got a lot of nice stuff out of that. We just gotta make it out and it'll be worth it. I knew customs would be a good idea though. I don't know what it is with customs at nighttime for like for at least the time that I'm recording at right now. It's always popping. I don't know why it is at this time of night. Everyone's just playing customs. We're almost there. I'm sure I'm gonna have the painkiller again, just get to the exit, but we'll be fine. Tell you what, though. Those scav snipers, man, they just don't give up. Once they get, they target you, I had to get so far away from them to like stop locking on to me. And then that's when I was like, all right, maybe I can get the headshot off on them real quick. And then uh, we can keep moving. 
And it works. I'm happy with it. It definitely works. Slowly but surely making it to the exit. I only got a few more kills to go. I'm almost tempted. And, I, and I'm probably going to do it, actually. We're going to go back to interchange. I want to see about finishing up those those tasks that we've been trying to finish up that we kept dying on and uh, get the last couple kills on there should be no problem i think it's definitely possible to do one thing is this time i have to make sure i'm not uh dropping all my magazines <laughs> but then again i don't know if i'm gonna be fighting four or five players in a bush this time i think it was only three this time though but still i feel like i missed somebody like during during the whole chaotic fight there, I'm pretty sure I missed a player in his body, which makes me a little bit upset because I know I I remember seeing a lot of them, but if I leave this raid and I see that there's there's one player missing, I'm gonna be like, no, the loot. That's all right though, more loot will be had. <sighs> all right, let's take a look. Did we kill them all or did we not? Or well, we killed them all, I should say, but did we get the... Okay, it was only three players, all right. I don't know why, for some reason, I was thinking that... Oh, those two was a headshot, too? Noise. Uh, I don't know why I thought that there was three of them, but yeah, it was two bears and a USEC. <laughs> Interesting names, too, let's just say that. All right, I'm going to drop off the... How much? Gosh, look at the fractures. It's only 3,000. I'll, I'll spend the money. 11 hit counts, apparently, out of 42. I actually believe that that rate. I was spamming a lot just to try to get the kills <laughs> because they all have flashlights on the guns. But I want to drop everything off, and then we're going to go drum right into energy to see if we get the last couple kills. Let's do this. I think it's going to be time to invest in a upgrade in storage because I think I need to get an ammo case. I'm running out of a lot of room because I have so much ammo, which is weird to say. But yeah. Definitely need to get some some ammo cases soon. Let's get ready for the players coming in. We have three more kills to get. We can definitely do it. Just gotta be ready. And I did actually bring splints this time, which is good. Where are they at? Where the players at? I know they're out there. Hmm. I would be very surprised if no one actually comes this route. Usually there's like spawn like just to the right of me every time. Huh. Okay. Not what I was expecting. I was expecting some action. Hmm. Oh, there he is. Stamina up first. I don't think I'm uh, zeroed properly. He was also getting shot up by somebody else.
above me. We have to go up top. I had to have hit him at least once or twice. At least I felt like I did. That's fine. We'll go up the back side and see if we can catch the guys. Maybe they come from idea. Oh, there is shooting over here. There's definitely a player over here. Grizzly, I'm guessing? Yeah. I think there's someone coming this way.
crap, he went upstairs. I may be able to catch him, but I'm going to catch him on the other side, if anything. I wasn't expecting him to go upstairs. Not bad though, not bad. Let's grab the book. Number two, let's go get the other one now. that damage from a, a stinking scab that annoys me He's above me, so I have to be careful about that. Oh, is that a player actually? That is a player, I think. I think it was a player. Let's see if he comes back out here or not. I could just be losing. It may not actually be a player. No, it looks like a scab running. That's a scab. Take the hidden staircase up. I want to get through the scabs there. Was a player. I thought it wasn't at first. No, yeah, definitely was a player. I kinda wish I would have grabbed that guy's rig, the rig that was in the guy's backpack. Cause then I could have uh, put a lot of the stuff in there, but it's fine. Um... 
don't really want anything else. Alright, let's get upstairs. Gotta get the, the last book. Also a chance for a player, too. There's a lot of shooting up on the second floor. The grenades going off and whatnot. So we'll take the hidden staircase up. Gotta find these guys. The more gotta take them out. One more kill, guys. One more. sound but this to my right He shot me through the wall before I even saw him, huh? Really? Huh. Sussy. Super sussy. Oh, well, let's try it again. Maybe that's fixed everything. I don't know. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. I got to discuss that real quick. I was having some recording issues, so that was the only thing I was actually able to record. We got one of them. That's all we need, though. We completed the quest. Oh, I love, I love the randomness of that. Um, didn't miss much. Dude, be sitting at a coordinate every single time to try to fix the, the quality issue, but Punisher Part Six completed. Not exactly how I wanted that to, that clip to play, but it's how it played, so. Let's see, prep or turn on these two. We finally got the Epsilon case. Holy cow. I'm so happy about that. Uh, You, I'll take all that. Very nice, very nice. Actually, I got to replace that. I just realized that. Look at all the space, all the space. I can have so many more things. So many more things. I'm so happy about that. Put the ejector case in there. I don't know what else we put in there, but we'll figure out what we're going to put in there. Uh, what else was there we were doing? I think that was really it. That was really the goal for the episode was to get the Epsilon. I think what we're going to do, because we used about, uh, about 600,000 to be able to do all that stuff today to get the Epsilon and all the deaths we had. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on a scab real quick. 
I think we're going to go over to... Let's go, let's go over to Streets of Tarkov. We haven't done that one in a while. Let's go do that. All right, we got 35 minutes and... Actually, we got PS rounds, so this isn't actually that bad of a setup. Although we need to get a bigger backpack. We're not going to do much with what we got. And is this an exit? It is. All right, let's go. Let's get up there, see what we can find. Ooh. Immediately find a scav with a bigger backpack and an ADAR. A backup weapon. Got that. Take the tea bag for now. Okay, they are sporting MK16 mags. I was confused there for a minute. I'm like, is that really a thing? So I figured out what the problem was in the last clip. I had to redo a quick restart on the computer and or the streaming computer, and it seemed to turn everything back to 1920 by 1080. And the uh, encoder was like, "Why are you trying to do that and also try to upscale to 4K? That's not going to work." <laughs> I'm like, "Okay, well, let's see if we can fix that." That's a scam. I thought it was a player for me. Oh, but I'm very happy. So happy we got the Absalon case. That's one step of the things we were trying to achieve. Next one, I, uh, well, we'll see. We'll have to see what we decide to go for. We have a lot of quests we still need to complete. And one point, one of these days, I am going to finish that inner, inner uh, change map and get that stinking book on the second floor. Uh, oh, sorry, this one doesn't open. I always forget about that. Keep all the meds for now. We'll definitely have to keep it out for like a dead player or find a player and kill him. Got scabs everywhere. Noise, noise. Money, money, money. No, thank you. What is our exit? Basement descent. Okay. That's just around the corner. Anything good? Ooh, okay. All right, not bad. What else you got for us? I feel like the audio changed. It seems so, like it sounds really weird. Like I know they did the the update to the to the game, and now, and obviously things got changed. But it feels so muffled. I don't know how I feel about that. Whoa. That wasn't uh, the recording. That was the game. <laughs> it seems so quiet. Let me turn off some of the decibels so you guys can actually maybe hear a little more. I don't know. You guys notice that? Like I'm noticing right now? Because it seems just really odd. I think this is a bigger bag. No, it's not. All right, no extra scabs there. Let's go check over here. At least we got a decent sized rig that we can work with. Got that milk. Don't need the cricket. Give us that loot. We need all the good loots. And... I'll pretty much just take whatever I can get my hands on. Just need to boost up the, the money a little bit. Nice thing is, though, is that we have a ton of ammo for the M4s, like I was saying. I may even start running some AK-101s. That would actually be pretty nice. I may look at doing that and maybe next episode we'll look at buying one of those guns. We have enough ammo to run it. What else you got? HP rounds, PS rounds. No, thank you. Actually, what? Actually, no. I don't think we're going to get PS rounds from the L1. I was thinking the PS rounds for like the sniper rifle, but I don't think that's it. 
a map, which I do not need. Although, I wonder if that goes for anything. I remember we had one before. It was for the the Intel Center. It was like maybe 35k. Maybe it was worth it. I don't know. If we don't find anything else good, we'll... Ooh. I heard a gun that was a little more higher class. Scav. Player Scav. Is he in here? Oh gosh. <laughs> Fire the hole. Or maybe not. Oh, there's definitely someone in there. He's like telling them, he's like, move man, I gotta blow this thing up. Oh, it's gonna be risky. We'll go help him. Charge! We're good, man. He's dead. Take it. Uh, there you go. For the ADA. Thank you. No problem, man. Just let him, let him up. I'm watching for you. I'll bet. All right. <laughs> we got a cool guy. This guy didn't have a backpack either. I'm just realizing that. Here, let me uh, get, let me give him the sniper rifle. That way, he's got a little bit longer range. Take the sniper. You're gonna need it. And where's the PSM? There it is too. Gosh. I gotta find the ammo. Uh oh. I wish they would fix this. Whoa! Bro. Hopefully he knows not to shoot at me this time. Alright, well those PS rounds are lost. И хуй мой танцевал чечетку. Вбивай янь в ноги инь. Остынь, остынь. Остынь, остынь. You know, I watched a video the other day, and I gotta find the name of it again. It was actually a really good video. Um, it was a guy explaining basically what all the different sayings uh, meant. In, for like what the scabs were saying. Like a rough translation. Granted, he was saying like, you know, you could have five people, you know, look at the same video of the same language that they're saying and have different interpretations for it. But it was, it was pretty darn cool. I never never watched a video like that before and I was like, this is kind of interesting. I never um never thought about it in that aspect. If I remember I'll, I'll if I remember what the title of the video is, I'll pop it up there. Or it's 
some like you know what the scabs are saying in Tarkov. It's probably what the video was, was. It was a while ago. That's what I'm saying. Um, let's go. Let's go with the cabinets in here real quick. A little laggy on the streets. Might just try to get the heck out of here. We'll take our tiny win and get out of here. I think it's a scab trying to kill me. It didn't look like a player. Yeah, we'll take a little tiny mini miniature win. There we go. I'll take it. I apologize about the randomness this episode, ladies and gentlemen, with the, uh, the cuts. It's been a very odd uh, recording session because for some reason my encoder keeps stopping the recording without me noticing. <sighs> it's frustrating as heck, but we're close to the end of the episode anyway, so we're, I think we're just going to call it. Uh, what we did was we did part four and also five of Gunsmith. I can't do part six yet, so that's weird. <sighs> I'm annoyed by that, though. But we ended up putting all the junk we got from the last raid and a couple of the guns. We got a lot of different guns we got to use up at some point. But um, yeah, we had some issues with the recording. I'm hoping I can get that fixed by next episode because uh, it's like does some weird encoding thing and it stops. But, like I said, we'll, we'll get that fixed. Uh, but we ended up doing the two parts, and then we bought two Thermite and two Eagle, and we got an ammo case. So now we have a lot of ammo that we can toss in here. Plus, we need a lot more space anyway, too. So, yeah, sorry about the weirdness with the episodes lately, but that's what we did. I think we're going to call it there, though, so I can go figure out this issue so we don't have that problem for the next episode. But we do have some things we obviously are trying to work on. Ah, I just don't know what I want to go for just yet. Maybe Spotter Part 4. Do some shoreline. Um, we could also try to find less fuel conditioner. I have an idea for this. It's I have to do the barter with Ragman, but or not Ragman. I think it's Prepper has the armor. Prepper is you that has the armor. What of you's got the armor? Which one of you has the armor? This is gonna bother the heck out of me. Which one of you has the armor? It's here. I swear to God, I just saw the barter tree. I don't know where the heck it just went. Anywho, I don't, I've confused a sec. Is that under mechanic? I was probably under mechanic. There it is. Um, I may pull the trigger and do this soon. And then bring it into a raid and just get it damaged by some scabs or something. We also got, uh, I just realized when we hit level 30, we got the, uh, the next upgrade on mechanic. So, yay, we're now uh, level three with mechanic. That's pretty awesome. We got some ideas, things you want to do though. But I'm probably going to do a fair bit of shoreline test next episode. If not, then we'll probably go over and work on, um, let's take a look at some of the tasks real quick. Uh, work on more of the interchange stuff and try to finish that up. We'll see. We got to get the CMS kits also made or found. So that's a couple of the tasks we got to work on. But beyond that, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be the end of this chaotic episode. We still, though, we got our, our, uh, our goal, which was getting the Epsilon container. I'm very happy with that. It took forever, but we finally made it happen. And uh, that's going to help us out for sure in the future. We can do a lot with this case. And we're going to make some stuff happen for sure. 
So, if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you enjoy about the episode, which you excited about for the future. If you haven't yet, subscribe, ding the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next one.